So let's look at the daily challenge for today. We do have primary primary clan Awoken, subclan Stygian, with the mutators fast draw, friendly unit center with quick, musical chairs, shuffle the position of all units in the train after combat, and small hands minus two cards per turn. There are a few scores that uh, manage to get past the 50k mark, which is pretty impressive. Um, so, fast draw counters musical chairs pretty well, because the order of your units doesn't really matter all that much if you just strike before the enemies, because then often nobody will take damage. Small hands always annoying though. Thank you, Nightbreeze. Uh, also, welcome to the stream. Okay, uh, let's start the run and see what starter cards we get. Restoration, Detonation, Ice Tornado and Preserve Thorns. Definitely happy with Preserve Thorns and Ice Tornado is nice as well. Rest of that though, uh, not that amazing, but should be fine. And Spell Consume Seraph. So let's see what we can find here. Ooh, Sting Spells get plus 20 magic power with uh, Preserve Thorns already. Sure. It's gonna be fun. Hmm. Draw versus Rejuvenate. Well, if we are going with Stings as one of our important mechanics, then draw is less important because strings allow us to easily get uh, Stings allow us to easily get uh, a full hand every turn if we go all in on them so i think i will take the sentient make my restores <laughs> and restoration the explosive sentient make my restores and ex uh, restoration detonation a little bit stronger non-boss enemy unit get plus four attack and we get the unit draft seems like a nice start I would love to play the Ice Tornado on the bottom floor, but it's not gonna happen. We need to kill the Collector. I hope I'm gonna draw into Restoration Detonation next turn. And we do. Get over the Stinks. That's an easy kill. Glimmer, Restoration, Detonation, Steel Enhancer. I definitely don't want a third rest that. Steel Enhancer could be nice. Glimmer could be nice. Glimmer does trigger our Sentient re Rejuvenate ability. So it's an, an additional 15 damage on the front line. If we play it on the floor, our Sentient is in. That's not bad. Hi, Mystery Machine. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, let's take a single glimmer. Cripple or Titan's Gratitude, Titan's Tooth. Mm, not so sure about these. We do not currently have any discard. 
On the other hand, we don't currently have a great way of dealing with backlines, but that should mostly be fine for now. Like, our way of dealing with backlines is Sting's Ice Tornado. And just triggering the Sentient enough. Honestly, I think I want to skip here. I don't think we benefit all that much from either of these cards. Nameless Siren. I definitely want to lean into an income build because uh, we do have stings and we are uh, encouraged to pick up more stings, which are pretty good for incant. Um, yeah, I think that should work out fine, especially with the quick. I would like to get the consume removed on these preserved thorns. These are pretty powerful after all. With uh, dealing 60 damage right away, drawing us 3 extra cards and adding very powerful spells to our deck and we get it. That's amazing. I could also cost reuse it but even better would be if I could get hold over on it. I don't have enough money for that. Well, it, I, it, it's possible I have enough. It can roll as low as 80 gold, as far as I know. Do we try? Yeah, let's try. Ah, uh, there's the holdover, but just not quite enough gold. Um, it's fine though. Plus the magic power on Glimmer is pretty good. Makes it take out all enemy backlines we wanted to. And I will cost reduce the Ice Tornado. Just so it's a little bit easier to cast. Non boss enemy units enter with Spikes 3. Okay. Not a problem for us at all. We mostly kill with uh, healing and spikes, anyways. Um. Yeah, I have to play the Ice Tornado here. I don't think the Nameless Siren is that important in this battle. These guys are annoying. Uh, too bad we didn't draw into spikes here. Uh, these guys are gonna be a real problem now. Because now we will only draw one new card a turn. Thanks to this Sinner spell. We can take out at least one of them here. Yeah. Hmm. Do we die here? Uh, 148. No. But we take a lot of damage. I wonder if there's anything we could have done to prevent that. Could have played down the Nameless Siren instead of playing the Ice Tornado on turn 1, but I don't think that would have helped. Yeah, that, that was a real unlucky draw. But I guess with... Uh, with small hands, we have to kind of expect that. I think I do want to take a sting. It's just 25 damage right now, draw an extra card next turn. The regen was also very appealing, but I think we are uh, very heavily incentivized to go full sting build. Um, upgrade on the siren wouldn't be terrible. We could also dupe our Preserve Thorns on the left side. I do want the Preserve Thorns, to be honest. Offering Monument, sure. That makes things a lot more powerful. Also provides a lot of draw. Okay, you, you know what we have to do. Well, maybe that's even better. I've played with uh, multiple offering to monuments in the deck before. Yeah, let's go that way. 
Having a bunch of offering monuments can can lead to really degenerate stuff. I think the, this could even lead to a flying Daedalus kill, in theory. I do want to have this spread out. Well, not so great if we draw nothing but offering monuments. And yeah, that's a little bit of a risk with a small hand. I can see that. But as soon as we get, uh, we start getting our stings online, we should be fine. Now I do have a full hand, so... Energy is still a slight problem for us. the HP Wish I had a way to get rid of this train sword right now Main problem right now is that we take a while to generate all these things and we do have a lot of uh, trash in the deck basically. I am aiming for a flying Daedalus kill, but uh, yeah, getting the stings took too much time, so it, was, it wasn't really possible. enough yeah well bottom floor kill with no damage taken still pretty good um, I don't think we need any of these unleash the wildwood isn't terrible cycle of life has some synergy with our um, offering monuments but it does cost a lot of energy and energy is currently our main problem so I will skip Crown of the Unnamed seems like a decent unit to use in this build, and I definitely want extra energy. We need the energy to cast our uh, spells and get things going. I like the removal and the relic, I would also like the spell shop, but I think I will go to the left here. 
A forgotten name. That's even more magic power. Pretty strong here for this deck. Um, train stewards are not great. Neither are frozen lancers. The unupgraded ice tornado is also pretty bad. I think I will start with the frozen lancers for now. Unupgraded ice tornado still has a, a place in the deck. I don't want any of these units. We're currently full on spellcaster. So. Starting out this uh, can be a little bit difficult because our first hand only has three cards and two of those are predetermined to be sentient and a unit. So that's a bit annoying. Um, if we minimize, want to minimize damage taken here, we can play the train sword on the top floor. Otherwise it will kill one of these guys and that will actually increase the damage we take. That's not good. Definitely not good. I guess we just let the uh, Offering Monument die. <coughs> okay, this, uh, this deck is a bit weird. Maybe it was a bad idea to copy the Offering Monuments. I didn't think about the fact that uh, setting up our spells can be such a huge pain. Um, yeah. We need more cheap spells, we need cost reductions and stuff like that. As soon as we get our things online, we are golden, but uh, getting to that point can be... can be tough. Four additional cards. Top floor is already fine. I need some space to play the Preserve Thorns. We still have way too much trash in the deck we can't really use. into another offering monument it seems to continue the, the cycle but uh, that is probably not gonna happen so I will just kill on the next floor this deck is weird but I need I need to set up faster this is this is terrifying right now None of these help us. 
Glacial seal might be good, but to be honest, we don't really need it. If we go off, we go off big time. Anyways. Well, glacial seal would be... Would have been nice against bosses, I suppose. Definitely need some more upgrades here. Cost reduction. Make some make some more zero cost spells I can spam. And get these train stewards off of here. They are, these are these are completely useless right now. And hard to play as well. Um Yeah, we don't need holdover anymore. I just want to make these things cheaper. Um no consume removal available. <laughs> Plus magic power, we could get it on the sting, but it doesn't really matter much. Might as well. Spell to gain hold over. Could still do it. But once we get it going, we don't really need it. Maybe better on the sting, to be honest. Um, let's see. Cost reduce the second preserve thorns. Maybe the Glimmer. Yeah, Preserve Thorns. This needs to be zero cost. It's important. And hold over the skin. Why not? Also... Consume on these Frozen Lands. So we can get it out a bit easier. Hellhorn the Woken Stitching Guard. Um... Yeah, Awoken. Wildwood Sap. Uh, do I want a Wildwood Sap? It's not bad on the Sentient. It's not great though. Not really worth. It's basically a worth restore for us right now. Because it doesn't trigger rejuvenate the turn we, uh, when we play it. Only at the end of turn with the regen. Uh, Crystal Cloak. If we just kill him with stings, he won't be a problem. <laughs> sure. Set these things up so we can get started quicker. Ah, that's really unfortunate. Not a single spell in this hand. We need to work on the top floor first. This isn't easy to play. I'm uh, quite focused right now. Ah. Misplayed the order there. Okay. health, 10 health.
Yeah, let's just play the Drain Steward, then we can start using these Preserve Stones. And I do want to generate more things, so... Basically this turn I just don't want to do anything. And maybe he loves me. And generate some more things. You can always play these in the tire room. Okay, let's see if we can uh, deal with this guy by just playing enough stings and refill our hand here we want to draw some more draw Looks like we lack a little bit of damage. Ah, might be enough. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. I need more card removers. And more preserved thorns, so I draw into them earlier. Maybe the units have to go. Maybe, uh, well, the non... The non-offering totem units. Uh, I do like some pyre health. Free artifact is nice. Unit upgrades. The shark is probably not important, but the rage. Unit costs minus two energy. Okay. That means we can play our offering totems for free. That's nice. Multi-strike on the Rage Siren is actually helpful. And we can give some additional health to one of these things. Um, also, let's convert some of the gold to a better deck. Uh, maybe these train swords aren't so bad anymore if they don't cost us any energy. No, they still are. We need to get them out of here. They don't draw us cards from the Offering Monument. They are a problem. And this Ice Tornado is just too expensive. Doesn't really work in this deck. Okay. Fell. Yeah, that's not a great start, but it was always going to be bad. We knew that much. Uh, second floor should be possible to kill this Absolver. Yep, that's good enough. I do want an offering totem, totem here at the bottom. I need to start getting rid of the bottom floor. Yeah, this is a problem. The card just prevents us from drawing our stings. Do I even want to play this offering monument? Yeah, I do. Okay. We did get a spell, so that helps a little bit. I do... I do need the card draw right now. But 
this is five cards generated, so we go up to nine cards. That should be fine. Uh, let's start working on the top floor here. Okay. This one has to go. Um, this will generate three cards, so we play it in a pile of floors to not draw any additional card right now. We can play the pennant now. Another offering totem here, so we do have the space to generate more stings. And we can start working on these guys. Okay. Um, let's play another offering totem. Nah. Not yet. Okay, our offering totem on this floor is gone. Which is actually not a bad time to use the sting. And play down another offering totem and generate more stings. This guy will just die. Now I guess we focus on the bottom floor. Uh, we are overdrawing here, which I don't want. I'm throwing cards away so I can generate more, more stings in the long run. And finally the last two stings we can generate this turn. Okay, now we do have a ton of stings in the deck. So this should be fun. Now I do want to empty my hand on Bell and then just use the preserved thorns on the bottom floor to redraw into more stings. Um, we also need to kill some of these. Glimmer seems pretty good here. We still have two offering totems on the top floor, which I can use. This guy dies to a frozen land. Sure. If I wanted to draw more cards, uh, not really a good way to do that. Decent amount of damage on Fell. Maybe we can finish her off this turn. We'll see. I do want to generate that sting soon. Uh. Not quite enough, just yet. Still lacking a little bit of damage. Might as well finish this one off. And we didn't manage to get her before the final phase, sadly. So most of most of my 
Oh, Awoken's Rails back, but even more harness the Titan. That's a lot of extra damage. Sure. Um, I need the card draw. Because the early game setup is so bad. I should have gone with the card draw first before energy, to be honest. We take too long to set up. Um, Frozen Lands consumes. These cards are actually decent. Ice Tornado is pretty bad. And so are these Restoration Detonations. Restore. Still a little bit better with our champion, I think. Hold over. Uh, maybe hold over and harness the Titan. And uh, cost reuse it. But we can always buff our stings ridiculously with that. Other than that, most of our spells are upgraded, so. Oh, cave of a thousand eyes. Let's see what we get from here. Oh, lightstone casings. Now that's powerful. Uh, I should have gone to that event before I upgraded my spells, apparently. Sure, let's see what we can get. Uh, consume removal isn't gonna help much. Make the glimmer free, I guess. Another ten. Spell damage on this thing. <coughs> Final Rejuvenate upgrade. Make some use of our healing spells. Maybe I should have cost reduced the healing spells actually. Spikes shouldn't matter too much to our deck. We are killing any we are killing them all with uh, with things anyways. Oh that's a nice hand. Um Let's not draw too many cards yet. Uh, maybe start drawing some more cards. Nope, not needed. We do have enough draw with all these things. Um, God of the Unnamed. I don't want the, the Rage Siren on this floor. So this is already enough. We do take some damage because of the bikes. I want to prevent that. Let's start setting up some offering monuments on different floors. And then the town. Uh, is this a full hand? Yep, this is exactly a full hand. So, Harm of the Titan, upgrade all the stings. This Glimmer is pretty strong as well. I do want to kill off this offering monument and place a new, new one right here. And then I just want to play out the stings and generate a new set of them. No need to do anything besides that. It's important to space out the uh, the offering monument charger a little bit. Now we can trigger in can a billion times. We only get two stings, but worth it with the upgrade. Might as well finish off that offering totem.
Okay. And we do already have the kill here. No need to spam thing. Okay. Now it's going pretty well. Edge prior. I like an edge prior. Uh, it helps get around the, uh, these restores a bit easier. The setup though. Yeah, should be fine. Um, man, Clash Glacial Seal could really speed up our boss kill. I'm adding way too many units to this deck now, but I think it's necessary on Seraph. Another dupe. Sure. Let's see what relics are available. Oh, there's thorn casing. Mm, don't mind if I take pick that one up. Um, at this point, we mostly need more offering totems. Double stack. Eh, doesn't really matter. Nothing really matters here. This card of the unnamed is our worst card. And the restoration detonation. As well, pretty bad. And on to Seraph. Let's see if we can get the kill. Maybe on turn one or two. Probably not on turn one, maybe on turn two. More realistically turn three or something. Uh, we need to focus on getting an yeah let's just go all in on this floor uh, that didn't work out as I hoped it would oh god that's not good. Uh, we're gonna take damage here because we didn't draw into any spells. I was worried I'm, I was adding too many units to this deck. Uh, let's quickly restart this. This is, this is not working out. I have an idea. We definitely need to kill this, uh, these purifiers as early as possible. Otherwise, we're getting nowhere. That's much better now. Looks like we can get quite a bit of damage onto Seraph here. Hmm. I don't really want to, to use the harness to tighten here. Maybe it's better. Ah, I can uh, just get rid of my restores on the bottom floor because they're free there. Um, sure. Do I have any more? Ah, there's two more vengeful shards in the deck. So I need to be careful not to draw too much. But I do want to go off on Seraph as hard as I can and get as many Frostbite onto him as is possible. So I don't really care about the... Don't really care about... The f damage from the Vengeful Shards right now. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 cards. Uh, that's still a bit weak. I 
guess we place one down right now. So we can keep drawing. And then just keep one around. For now, if we need to refuel, we can do it on the bottom floor. Um... Pawn as the Titan. Uh, oh, we can still continue playing these things. I do need to empty my hand a little bit. So I can actually play these preserved bombs and get the, the correct amount of spikes from them. Things I mean. Empty the hand and start the cycle again. Oops, that's not what I wanted to play. Uh. Okay, out of offering monument here. So we can refuel by playing these restores on the bottom. I should probably use the Preserved Thorns first, so they are back in my deck. Hmm. And I can use them on this floor after all. Uh, this Suffering Monument currently has nothing to do. Let's kill off this guy. Uh, I can use that card on the bottom as well. I have a 42 damage spike, I do. And then finally unload everything on the top. Uh, no, I actually want to try drawing into another preserved thorns, and there we go. Let's try to fish for the final preserved thorns. And we drew into a restore. Yeah, never mind. Just unload here. We take 3 damage to these vengeful shards, but we dealt a lot of damage to Seraphra al already. So. This is pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I do want to consume a low damage thing like 35. It's the lowest it can get. Uh, use the restores. Then we preserve thorns on this floor to get four more cards. Harness the Titan. And then unload on Sarah. Okay. The beginning was scary. But after we set up, this deck proved to be insanely powerful. I don't think our score is going to be deck up because of the mistakes we made early on. We lost quite a bit of score. The Seraph kill was really fast though, so should make up for quite a large part of it. 47,000? That's, uh, that's pretty decent in my book. I mean, this was basically built to be the sting run, wasn't it? Except for small hands, which really hurt us. With uh, thorn casing, channel heart, forgotten names, starting with preserved thorns. Yeah, let's see what rank we are at. Ah, only on the second page. Only rank 16.5.